see that. Um, her name's Shaylin and she was four years old. Um, beautiful little blonde haired girl, very motherly. Shaylin was involved in a terrible accident at a family cookout on Mother's Day last year. She had gotten out of her life jacket. You know, they always wore their life jackets, but she'd gotten out of hers and gone to the restroom and I did not see her come back out or see her without her jacket. Tori Welch says she took her eye off of Shaylin for just a couple of minutes when she thought she was inside using the bathroom. When I realized she wasn't in the house, she just had that motherly gut instinct and that's when I darted to the pool area where she had been playing previously and that's where I found her. In a split moment, Shaylin got out of her life jacket and back into the pool. My husband started CPR right away as we waited for um, emergency uh, resources to get there. Now a year later, Walsh looks back and says keeping an active eye on your children at all times could have saved her life. When you've got together with family and you're doing cookouts and everybody's in the water and in and out of the water and in and out of the house and that's when things happen so you have to just keep better track of your kids. She's advocating for the campaign Lifeguard Your Children in hopes of saving other kids like her daughter. I can't say it enough to parents to um, watch them be physically up out of the lawn chairs off your phones away from friends visiting be at that water side watching if they're not intended to be in the water put a barrier there in between the water and yourself so that no accidents happen. Now through this campaign, they're able to travel, ac travel across the area to teach parents important tips to keep their kids safe at the pool. Now they're completely run off of donations, but they've already gotten so much support from the community. They've been able to give out life jackets and CPR classes to anyone in need. All of their information is on their Facebook.